We're going to be looking at more in con I can't sing the word now, incorruptible bodies. Remember I did a video the other day. My video got a restriction on it. I wonder if this person did. Um, anyway, not having a go at him, but this woman was buried supposedly 2,000 years before Christ. And um, it's how she was buried. They're wondering if that's, well, there's a few, they don't even know, so they say. And then obviously she was a, Con, a cork, what do you call it? A concubine. So um, that's what they said. And then she married him, and then he was ill. And then basically, because he was ill, she took over more. Now, some have her as a bloodthirsty barbarian who was killing her own children and stuff like that. But there's this other side in history where women took over and other things happened. So her rule might have been different to what the story is, the history about her. Um, so basically she married the emperor and then became the empress that way so she wasn't her children or other members could have been emperors but um, she wasn't by blood in the family she had married into the family anyway they obviously finding her she is they autopsied her. Just don't don't you think she looks a bit like something else that happened in America when they said that they were an alien? But um, you know she's now on show, and um, I like what this guy had to say. But basically, they they said there was still blood in her veins. Um, they could see some of the things that she'd last eaten, and she moved like like you and I could move our arms. They could move her arms like that. Rigor mortis had not set in. No rigor mortis in her and a few other people. Well, those are her insides, sorry about that. Those are her insides and you know they're just saying it was as if she died almost yesterday. Um, what she looked like. In, yeah, so I thought that was quite incredible. And then they found another one. So I think she was that but don't ask me to say it. And then they found another one there. And um, same thing he's an incorruptible but these were buried in the ground but in vaults and you know they were like buried she was buried in goodness knows how many coffins and then covered in earth then covered in something else and they're wondering whether they put something in the water you know, put wa uh, you know a certain kind of water inside her in her coffin that, that that did it or whether water seeped in so they still don't know but they found another one he was also buried in the ground but again, incorruptible, found a while ago. So now they don't have to um, give them autopsies and stuff like that. I was actually wondering how tall he was. They look smaller than him, don't they? Um, they don't have to do these things now. So they're pressing his body and he's still like he died just a minute ago. Um, but what they're doing, I think with that one, what they do is now is, even though they've done all the same things, they've interred his body and looked at everything, um, they have injected him with something and it seems to be, there you go, which seems to be keeping him supple as well. Because the moment they take them out of these places, they start to, you know, the, the weather and the, the atmosphere and everything, it starts to, they start to um, disintegrate. Uh, yeah, anyway, so you've got all these people looking at them and saying things. Uh, I thought it was quite interesting, but obviously they're not saying everything, are they? And in his throat was that little sign which says that what well, his name was. And then I think they found others, but they were just bones. But then they found another one. I think there's one more to go. I don't know, I did this quite late at night. I really like what that guy had to say. I don't know about the rest, but anyway, now that they can do things with, um, you know, with X-rays and that, which they couldn't do in those days. Anyway, yeah, they look at their brains and everything. These people thought that if you're going to go to the afterlife, everything has to come with you: your food, even their little statues, like their servants. So everything had to come with you. Anyway, she is buried in an inverted. The first one is buried in an inverted pyramid. Uh, which yeah there it is it's quite a big so she was yeah I suppose buried as an emperor and I think you can go down there and have a look at the cave I can't I can't um, I wished I could just play it's so cold down there that's another reason why they thought her body 
would last in there because it's so cold and they put bananas in there. But I'd love to play you what this person was saying, but I get a strike. So I can only report on it and show you or say some of the things that they were saying. Anyway, they wondered if, um, I think in the end, what they think is this person wasn't as well as she looked. She had a slipped disc, so she struggled with moving. So this is how they said they buried her, see? Thing upon thing upon thing upon thing upon thing, more and more and more. But anyway, then the, then the coffin thing was filled out, then something else, and then um, more earth put on top. But she had a slipped disc, and then they reckon that she had gallstones. And she had the same problem as I had. It nearly killed me. They said to me at the hospital, if I didn't go for this operation, it was up to me, but next time could probably be death. Because what it is, is the gallstone goes into other parts of your body, like hers. Mine went into my, gall, uh, my bile duct, and they reckon a stone had gone into her bile duct, and it's like a plug. Doomp! And then, of course, the bile has nowhere to go except in your body, so it poisons you. So what they're reckoning is not only the stone was the stones were playing up in her, she had a stone stop and she was ill, and at the same time her heart wasn't running quite right. She had like um, some of her veins, you know, were plugged up. So basically, with that and then the gallstones and the pain, it kind she had a, her heart just stopped beating, and she died that way because she wasn't that old. I think she was in her fifties or sixties, something like that. Anyway, this is the red stuff which they found in the grave, but um, I don't know. They don't even know if it's that, and they don't even know how it got in there. Did they pour it in when they were burying? Did it go? Did it seep in? Um, I just thought it was interesting because it was another another lot of incorruptibles, but these were buried in the ground, but they were in vaults. So again, they've got to be cutting them open and taking bits of their body to test everything. I feel a bit sorry, really, because if they believe their bodies go with them, I know, you know what I mean, like then they've just ruined all their uh, ways by digging them up and cutting them open. But um, he is so shocked that these bodies just were, they call them wet bodies, not dry, you know, mummies are dry bodies, everything is dried out, but these are wet. So they're called wet bodies. So I thought that was quite interesting. And, um, yeah, and another one. I think this is another one. They were building houses and then they stumbled across this coffin. I think there was two or three coffins. And I think two of them or three of them were, well, there it was, a few of them were damaged and just bones. But one of them, they realised had a body in it. Well, everything in our history is below our feet. When you want to know about history, everybody has to dig down. Obviously, it's not that easy to dig down, but that's what needs to happen. Anyway, they've got this one body, and they realise because his like toe or arm or something was sticking out. This person saying, you know, they realised that he was. They did. They, re they did. He didn't realise he was touching a body until they told him. Anyway, see, they're in this liquid. But it's so hot where they are; they just start to disintegrate. Oh, the dog's going to start now. But anyway, these are some of the bodies this person has. And one of them, they're injecting this one with the serum. And he's still supple. I think they've been doing it for a few years. Floss, don't make that noise. I'm recording. wonder how big he was, they're not really, maybe he was taller as well, they're not showing, I mean the tables look quite big, they look a bit taller, these bodies. Anyway, yeah, that's them going through, like, because obviously, they're still incorruptibles. I've lost my um... yeah they're still incorruptibles I suppose what it is is 
everything that they've been finding was bones. Everybody finds bones, but they don't find bodies with skin and everything there. And these bodies are whole. It's always got to be cutting them open. Sorry about that, everybody. Well, this is how she died, I think. She had a, um, you know, a disc and um, eating away. I don't know if it's going to show. It's jumping a bit. Um, show that she, she's walking with a stick. So that was her bad back. eating away he's gonna say that she had gallstones and they reckon a gallstone got stuck and then she that's what she'd been eating melon these melon seeds are over 2,000 years old if you believe them anyway so there you go in her yeah there you go and then her heart stops beating with the gallstones and so forth yeah, she had. Yeah, anyway, that was a little bit of history on that. And um, just thought it was incredible. More incorruptibles. There's many more than we think there are. And that's her dying, and then we know the rest. <laughs>